Hey guys, welcome to DreamCoin. It's Tyler again, and I just wanted to bring you a quick video on a newer stock that I've been looking at recently for what I think is going to be a nice, not only kind of swing through into the end of April, but also going to be a nice potential long-term hold for you to add to your portfolio. Just to get right into it, they're going to be called Trillium Therapeutics. They trade under the ticker TRIL, and they're a company that's basically bringing about new treatment types for cancer as a whole, particularly with their tumors. And they different kind of issues that cancer brings with it alongside these uh, dangerous tissues while it's attacking your body. On their pipeline, they do have two leading treatments named TTI-621 and TTI-622, and they're both basically things that help target different immune system inhibitors in the body, specifically when cancer is prominent. And as you can see, there's different uses for each, so they're testing indications based on malignancies and then solid tumors for each of them to see how they affect each respectively. They have got do have both of them in almost phase two trials for going forward and then they have two of them in preclinical which is very nice for their treatments going forward down their pipeline. And what's going to be nice for Trillium as a whole going into April specifically is they announced April 28th which is obviously next month and it's coming up because we're already on March 22nd as of the day of this video. So exactly a month from now they're doing their research and development day which they're going to bring out different data on some of their trials that they're having going on and possible positive effects that they have coming out of these different treatments which could be very good for not only the stock obviously but the company as a whole for their pipeline going forward and their treatments and possible fast track towards you know different approvals with different medical systems as we go forward down the next couple of years and their financials looked insane aside from their data so as of december 31st 2020 they had cash equivalents and securities of 291.2 million dollars which was up from 22.7 million in the end of 2019 which is a ridiculous amount of money they gained 270 million dollars and so that's very big for the company as well just having that much money more to have cash on hand for research and development or just coming out with new potential treatment options for what they're trying to do as a company and this is also very nice as a stockholder because if they have this much extra cash on hand they're more likely to not offer shares to the public or uh, diluting the stock price which is very nice as a whole as well now another big thing that drew me to uh, Trillium Therapeutics for why they look like a very good promising stock especially as a whole is that their institutional shares is a huge amount so 85 million 242,300 shares is owned by institutions this leaves a very big segment inside of a lot of big like companies especially as mutual funds as we get on here you can see we've got like morgan stanley and what we have here is you know we have a few different calls from some big companies as well particularly jp morgan they put uh last month february 19th some calls on this stock in particular and just a lot of different funds are looking at the stock as a whole for a promising asset to add to their own portfolios as well as we come over here on the chart for today this was just about basically that 10 to 11 dollar range today as it has been over the past few days a couple weeks they did have like this kind of crazy run up over here you know this is very undervalued right now but the baseline like low range is about 20 to 22 dollars for a lot of major analysts which is very good for the stock considering that's literally a 100 percent rise from where it is now and going into april i can see this hitting that 15 to 18 dollar range as we get into there especially because you know there's going to be even outside of just if their data is positive it's going to be that classic you know more people start finding the stock they're going to buy into it for the hype for potentially the data and they're going to sell off around that data time if we look here over the one month chart uh the peak on this was roughly about like 13 dollars from about a month ago so it hasn't gone too high for here this is a uh, kind of close to a bottom point to buy right now so this is a very good buy price i would start a position small and potentially look around that nine to eleven dollar range to buy in if you can but as you can see historically they've already hit 15 a couple times they've been in the 20s as well back in december and so they stay pretty consistent with their price but as I can see this going into April, this is going to be a very nice price point going forward. Even if it hits that 15 to $18 price range, because, you know, if you do a one month swing with that and you have quite a few shares, that's going to be a pretty decent profit, no matter how you want to ride it. And then long term, especially with this having some price targets already in the 20s and the fact that they're only in phase one for some of their treatments options that they're looking at in their pipeline. I could see this going to potentially over like 40, 45 over the next like year, year and a half, especially as that data comes in more for them and as they kind of take off 
off more into 2022 and 2023 as a company, especially if their assets go up as much as they did in the last uh, couple of years. If we see anywhere close to that much rise, even as like a, as much as 100 million or 200 million more in their assets, this is just going to provide even a more solid foundation than they already have as a company going forward. Like I said, going into 2022, 2023, I do see the stock becoming a 40 to $45 stock as they get a little more volume in, as they get a little more trials under their belt and they possibly come out with new treatments down their pipeline as well. And that's going to do it for me in this video. I just wanted to bring that stock to you guys real quick because i have been showing you guys uh, quite a few penny stocks recently i was talking about idex just a few days ago letting you guys know on that and that's already seen a nice rise from where i priced them at just a few days ago and letting you know when to buy in around that three and under dollar range um and we've got quite a few people that were in the discord that i've been talking to and follow my social media that followed that and they've made a pretty decent profit on that already as well definitely make sure you're checking out those videos and i wanted to bring you a little more higher dollar volume stock especially because not only what the company is doing with trillium therapeutics and their stock but also because i wanted to give you guys a more stable option with the market being a little more volatile with pennies right now so i'm going to be looking to give you a little more higher dollar value stocks here going over the next couple weeks and just give you guys a little more variety to your portfolio since we've been going over a lot more pennies here lately on the channel i just want to thank you guys for over 500 subscribers we just hit 530 in the last day and you guys have just been absolutely insane with the support so i appreciate all the love lately and i am not looking to stop anytime soon so other than that i'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.